that it's already January and deer season there's only one week of deer season left so I'm gonna be out in the woods scouting here really soon and the best time to scout is right now right after the season if you can get in there right after the season ends you can see their fall and winter patterns and that way you can um, make sure that you're hunting those um, this year and so we're gonna go right into this and before we do <clears throat> This applies to public and private land. Looking for all these things on public land is really good, and it applies to both public and private land. So, number one is looking in bedding areas. And you can really see where the deer are moving at and where they're bedding, so you can strategically put your stands up, and you can um, see where they're at in the morning, so you can hunt them um, in the during deer season in the morning in those bedding areas, um, doe bedding areas, buck bedding areas, and so that way you can see they're traveling and you can see what all they're doing. And so that's a great place to look for, um, to scout is bedding areas. You can see those beds, you can see where they're traveling from to their beds, all those um, different aspects come into play. So, and I'm gonna be honest, I haven't really seen, I haven't seen a deer since December 5th hunting. And I know it's because my habitat is not that great for winter. It was great for fall. I had a number of bucks here, but during the winter it's just not that great because we barely have any cover here. And so I'm gonna be, if you're gonna bet, I'm gonna be working on that this summer. And I've already got trees, switchgrass, all kinds of that, all that stuff to work on their habitat this um, summer. And so. We're going to be seeing a lot more deer, especially just here during the winter. Once those <clears throat> trees and switchgrass are put up, and I'll make videos on that too. So, and you, if you're in the same case, then that'll help you too. So that way you can see deer in the late season. But at least to have a reason why the deer aren't here during the winter months. If you don't have a reason, then that's not good. So if you know that the deer are here. That's a great. So number two is food and capitalizing on food sources, fields, um, food plots, anywhere where do you eat or shrub plots, stuff like that. It's a great place to go um, look for deer sign and scout for them. And now here are sheds probably drop um, in March sometime. So I'm going to be out of the woods at March and I'm going to be coming back in around April and looking for sheds. And so and deer, especially during the late season, come together and they're going to be in a lot of groups during the late season. So you can really see a lot more deer sign during uh, this time. And so when it snows too, that's a great time to go scout and you because you can see exactly where they're at with the snow, their tracks. And it's a little bit harder, um, or it is harder, when there's no snow on the ground. So. Number three is traveling transitions. So that's a great place to go look for um, like mock scrapes, water holes, and, and hopefully out we'll be putting a water hole out here too. And that's an awesome spot to go look for deer sign. It's where exactly where they're traveling from bedding to staging areas to staging areas to food to food from bedding, you name it. Wherever the deer are moving at, that's a great spot to go um, look. And those deer runs exactly from bedding to food etc. So number four is swamps. Now I personally don't have swamps and I don't have very much experience with swamps but I know for a fact that those are great spots to go look in. Yeah there might be a lot of cover you might have to walk through a lot of nasty stuff but if you want to see great deer sign especially great buck sign is to get in on those swamps and go look at them because I know that a lot of bucks love swamps and being in there they have a lot of thermal protection 
And there is a myth out there that deer um, or bucks like to bed high. And not saying that that is a myth. They do sometimes, but they especially love being down low in those thermal covering areas where they're protected, they feel safe, and where they're warm especially. So the swamps are a great place to go check out and look for a uh, buck sign. Now number five is high stem count in browse. Wherever there's a spot on public land especially or on private land, I know I have a browse plot out here that's not finished yet, hasn't started growing yet, but we're going to be working on that and putting switchgrass around there um, this summer. But I can't really scout that area out yet because it's not there. The seedlings are still growing. And red osier dogwood is a great shrub that deer will love. And that's um, going back to bedding that I forgot to mention. Putting red osier dogwood in bedding areas is really good because they, they need to have food while they're bedded. Because not putting a food plot right next to your bedding area, but putting um, shrubs right into the bedding area itself. And also, depending on what kind of shrub you have, it could even um, keep thermals in there too. So looking for browse, especially in bedding areas and just in the woods in general, in public or private land, is a really good spot to go see where the deer are moving at, where they're eating at, in the woods. So the number six is winter versus summer scouting. And the reason why you need to scout in the winter, no matter how cold it is, um, just layer up and get out there and scout. Because a lot of the sign right now is the same sign that will apply to hunting season this fall, and it, that applied to the season um, prior. So winter scouting is a great time to go see deer. And like I mentioned, snow, when the snow's on the ground, that's another great time to get in there and <clears throat> see where the deer are at. And now doing hinge cuts in winter, is a, I didn't, that's not really part of the scouting, but hinge cuts and stuff during the winter is a great time. Trimming travel corridors during the winter is a great time too. But like I said, I'm going to be out of here in March, so that way the bucks will come in and drop their sheds, so that way I can find them. <clears throat> and now the reason why you don't scout in the summer. Now I still scout in the summer because I like seeing where the deer are at in general. Now the reason why I don't have as much summer um, sign as I do winter is because I have the deer here during the winter, in the fall. And I do not want them here during the summer. And the reason being is the annual whitetail shift. They shift from their summer habitat to their fall and winter habitat. And even in some cases, they shift from uh, summer habitat to fall habitat to winter habitat, which isn't the case we have here because there's not that much cover for them here. Especially if they're in groups. Like right now during the late season, they're going to be in groups. So summer scouting can also be very misleading because it does not apply to um, the hunting season. You've been, uh, there's been a big buck on trail camera that you've been looking at during the summer and you've been preparing for them, strategically putting your stands up, bedding areas, food plots, you name it, and he leaves. And you're not going to have a chance at him. Now during the rut, that can be different, but during the hunting season in general, that deer is not going to be here. And that's because they shift from their summer habitat to their fall and winter habitat. Because that summer habitat dies during the fall and they have no cover. So that's a really important thing to be looking at. And the reason, when I said I still scout during the summer, it's just because I, I love watching the deer and I love seeing where they're at. And <clears throat> now I don't have them here because I'm probably out in the woods at least three days out of the week. And I'm uh, fortunate to be able to do that during the summer without school. And so I can be out there working on food plots, bedding, what you name it, I can do um, all those things. And there's also a good thing because going out there in the food plot, uh, going out there with a four-wheeler, making a whole bunch of racket, that also keeps the deer off the land. So, again, driving ATVs during hunting season is bad. Driving deer, uh, dri driving ATVs during off-season is great because that keeps the deer off your land, so that way they come back during the fall, during hunting season, and they, you can be in there just looking for those, um, the sign. So I hope these uh, strategies help you, and I hope you find a lot of um, sign this fall, or this winter, and <clears throat> I'm, you can bet I'll be out there right after the season, this probably this next weekend, I'm going to be out here scouting this whole area, and um, 
The sheds haven't dropped yet, but I'll be leaving the woods alone for that. But hopefully you can be scouting, even if you're hunting on public land. Go in there. If you know you're going to hunt there fall or you've hunted there prior, um, just go in there, look where the deer are at, and try to find how you can um, capitalize on that and hunt that this, uh, this next fall. So these are really um, important tactics that should help you a lot in finding a lot of deer signs.